Oh. Hi. Eh. Should be fine. What's up with this? Okay. So one and then two. So we gotta get water in here. Question is, how does water pathing even work in this game? It seems to just, oh no. Okay. Okay, so. We're not entirely able to do what I want here. But it does look like extending this out is the right idea. Uh, hold up, what? It really does not want to turn. Like, for any reason. Uh, let's see. Extended it a bit. But yeah, that's, that's no good. Okay, there we go. Almost there. Water is really gross looking, by the way. And there we go. Let's see. Oh, <laughs> there was just a tunnel. That actually traverses this whole thing. Well, dang. Ah. Uh. Okay. This should be doable. Because he's a tough bugger. But his AI is dumb. And he doesn't do enough damage to really harm Malroth. I just have to make sure I'm not in front of him. And we should be able to take him out. I don't know if this guy's a mid-boss or like a boss boss. I'm also really curious what happens when Malroth goes down. Ow. That's okay. I blot- I blot. I brought plenty of cabbage something or other to fight through this guy. Ow. Cabbage, heal me. Oh, mighty cabbage. Safeguard me from harm and associated with other things. Ow. Oh, cabbage. Ow. Uh, I was hoping that wouldn't hit me. Got him. He had a lot of seeds on him, actually. Yeah, arguably worth it. And we level up.
Uh, let's see. Max HP increases. Huh? Hey, dude. Defeating all these monsters has made me even stronger again. I can feel the power throwing my through uh, flowing through my veins. You don't seem quite so pumped up. I'm starting to get a bit worried about you. That settles it. I'll just have to think up a trick I can teach you that even a weak weakling can use. Ah, how about this? Start by charging up all your power into your sword arm. Yeah, that's it. You're better at this than I expected. Now let it all out in one giant swing. Really go for it. Ha yeah. <laughs> ha! Yeah, you did it. Not bad at all, dude. Even for you. Remember, just hold down triangle to build up power. Then, once it's all charged up, let go and unleash a super spin attack. This should come in handy next time you're in a fight. There's the spinning slice. <laughs> and we've also learned a new recipe. A recipe. Stone Axe for Melroth. Yeah, it was worth it. Squeak, what brings humans scurrying all the way out here then? Seeking out the Navaglove, are you? Well, here it is. This beautiful orb right behind me. The instant you lay your hand upon it, you ne you gain the power to warp back here whenever you like. Open up your map with the uh, that button, and you'll be able to zoom away to any Navaglove that you've already touched, or just zip yourself back home if you like. The island's bigger than you th you might think, especially if you're walking everywhere. So don't forget these things are key for getting around. Don't forget to touch any new ones you find. You might be wondering why I'm telling you all this. All the fat rats on this island are just as helpful as me. So you shouldn't be surprised if we offer you some handy hints. Squeak, what business does a ready looking human like you have with me? Huh? You're looking for someone who can clean dirt for you? I've got no idea how you'd even go about it. Maybe that mud-munching monster over there to the east would know. If you want to meet with them, you'll have to be quick. I saw a gang of the children of Hargon running over there with vicious grins on their faces not too long ago. Oh, and before I forget, have you spoken to my fine friend here already? Navigloom. So yeah, warping. Very nice. I liked the warp wings in the previous game, but being able to warp to and from locations is so much better. Oh, hey. Have I been there? Can I check the map? No, I haven't been up there. Alright, I know I'm supposed to go save that worm, but I want to go check this out. Ideally, I'd like to 100% map these islands before leaving every single time. Just because compulsion is important. I don't know if there's anything useful or, or important on this, like, stone thing. Doesn't look like it, but I don't know. You never know. I like, think I keep seeing light sources in there, and then I don't. And then, doesn't matter. Okay, there's... Oh. Okay, this bad boy looks a little tougher than the last. We might want to leave him alone. The hey, chimeras are still needed because they drop the uh, the herb for the med uh, medicinal stuff. Yeah, but war like I just appreciate that I don't have to use warp wings anymore because warp wings are fun, but there's way better modern systems than just like town portaling. As evidenced by this game, or something like that. So it just occurred to you, this kind of game might be kind of long. It will be, yes. My last series on Dragon Quest Builders was like a hundred and something episodes long. So I'm betting Dragon Quest Builders 2 is going to be uh, approximately about as long. Maybe longer? Who knows? I don't. Nor do I mind one way or another. Hello. What have you? Is that a stone sword that I already have? Get out of here, stone sword. You're meaningless to me. Eh. 
Okay, there we go. Nothing there. Hey, dude. What do you reckon is going on here? <laughs> we finally found you, spineless worm. We heard you've been making clean earth. And you know what the penalty for making things around here is. I ain't doing nothing wrong. It ain't my fault. The soil somehow comes out cleaner than it, go than it goes in. Is it? If you truly believed in our cause, you'd immediately destroy anything you made. But you didn't. And now you must be punished accordingly. Whee! What do you think you're looking at, human? Th oh, what do you think you're looking at, human? Th Can't you see what has it work posing dil dissidents here? Well, don't just stand there. Help us. Unleash th you oppose the children of Hargon. In which you, in which case, we'd be more than happy to purge you too. Oh, Crimity, I gotta help me, humans, please. Looks like we gotta pick a side, dude. What do you think? Should we start with the monsters or the monster? That you, even have to think about it, is proof enough you have a faithful bone in your body. The children of Hargon do not tolerate such fair weather followers. Precisely, you shall meet the same grisly fate as this long live the thinner. Come on, guys, let's get him. Down with the worm! Kill the worm! Faithful to Hargon! Out of my way, baboon man! There we go. Help! Someone help me! <laughs> Down with the worm! Die, worm! Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot, Biscuits. That Reaper is a, uh, is bad news. Luckily, Reaper's mostly focused on Hargon here, but still. Yeah. Getting! He surely made short work of him or beast who was harassing me. Thank you kindly. But who are you anyway? What are you doing all the way out here? A builder, you say? And you're building the old farm, Dietrich and all? And you're looking for someone to conjure up the earth out of nothing? I sense that big old tree was back, so I did. I've been wriggling all over the place looking for it. Only I have my life saved by the very bay who planted it. it. Must be fate. I'm Wiggly, you see? We're an ancient tribe with the power to purify the earth, or at least we was. I'm the only one left of us now. Ah, that's this gross slimy thing's gonna clean up our soil. Can't wait to see anyone everyone's faces when we get back with a giant worm in tow. Name's Wrigley, by the way. And if we can get back to your farm before any more of the children are gone, turn up that'd be lovely. Wiggly is now going to follow me. I will be taking all of this poop. Good luck, Malroth. I believe in you. We... Yeah. Kinda going the right way. Nope, nope. turn. Get that block, dang it. Yeah, whatever. Bonanzo loves me. Just hearts from a distance. Wow. Oh, is it Dawn? It is Dawn. Cool. Thank you, Balroth, for just, like, face-tanking that ghost while I grabbed all this soil. I realize I'm getting a worm that can just, like, deal with it all myself, uh, himself. But, you know what? When in doubt. I'm, uh, just stock up now for convenience sake. Okay. Uh, let's see. So what do we, we want to warp? Uh, let's see. View map. Okay, so we've actually cleared out a fair bit of this. There might be a little bit more out there. They said this island's bigger than I expect, but it actually looks like we've seen a fair bit of it. Either that or it doesn't start scrolling until you've, um... been there. Oh, 
Oh, that's a heck of a farm you got here. It may still be small, but all the right bits and pieces are in place. Field, crops, even the deer tree. I bet heck it's a monster. Dribbling Drakies, you're right. We're under attack from a vicious Wiggly. Well, don't just stand there, Malroth. Bid it with, to within an inch of its life. That will not be necessary, unless I'm mistaken. This Wiggly is a descendant of the tribe that keeps the soil of Furfield in and healthy for generations. What? Hear me, Wiggly. From this day forth, you are to aid us in building new fields. Far to do so. And we will have no further need to keep you alive. Oh, fail to do so. We will have no further need to keep you alive. You're trying to threaten me, ain't you? Well, it's working. You've got yourself a deal. <laughs> Don't worry, Wormface. If this guy tries anything funny, we'll beat him to a pulp. Thank you kindly. Right then, I'll stick around here and help dude bring back the deer tree. I'll be more than happy to give you a hand with your soil problems. If there's anything I'm good at, it's cleaning up muck. Wiggly joins dude's team. Your brother-in-law actually had you help with his worm far farm and old fish uh, with his worm farm and old fish to fill in the holes in the garden. Got to admit, the vegetables they came out twice the size they were the year before. Yeah. Worms are super important. Right on, dude. It's a pretty dope. It's pretty dope having Wiggly in this squad. We can totally get all the good dirt we need. Funny now that the slime simpleton, uh, slimy simpleton, was so eager to help us out, dude. Seems like there's something about you that monsters really go for. Rosie, our uh, sorry, Rosie. Our prayers are answered. Our soil shortage is solved, and it's all thanks to Brittany. Yeah, I was just passing on some rumor I heard. It was due to did all the legwork, and props to Wrigley too. We're dropping everything and coming here to bail us out. Nobody knows why, but on Furrowfield, the Wigglies, the Bodkins, and the Rats have always been kind to us humans. Hey! Maybe if you ask around on your travels, you might find out. I need some more tea. Okay. We Wigglies been custodians of the soil here on Furfield since forever. It's always been our job to keep the dirt in a good nick. And now because the children of Argon are off in my case, or off my case, I can get started again. I can't wait to see the old place overflowing with life, green from the beach to the bluff. I suppose I should start by turning in some of this orange slime into the old, uh, into some nice clean earth, shouldn't I? Oh yes, please, Wrigley. You have no idea how long I've been waiting for this. I'm so excited to see you sanitize the soil. I know, but I'm supposed to know which bits you want cleaned up. I see. You're using scarecrows to mark out where you want the fields to be, so I should work my ma magic on the mud around the moments. Sounds like a plan. I'll get started right away. No time like the present, is there? Okay, inventory, we gotta... We gotta... I should... I should not have... I should not have taken off any of this soil. I should have just left it there. I was just afraid that we get more of those, like, uh... Weird, those weird poison plants, uh, popping up on our, on our like gross soil and stuff. Like, I get the fact that this whole thing's on rails, but I think it'd actually be kind of nice if there's a little bit more. Uh, do I want to go with the word variation here? Maybe, I don't know. Okay, so I'm gonna use this as a cabbage field for now. I. Uh, 
Like, it'd be nice if there were a couple of things that could happen if you were, like, screwing around too much or, like, you actually had to be aware of. Instead, it's just kind of like, eh. Just, uh... Just play the game and everything will more or less work out. It's the most linear sandbox I've ever played. I guess would be the best way to describe it. Uh, you wanna... Nope. Can I not pick up the... Okay, there we go. That'll get him working again. Okay, we had another... We had another one right here. Do we want another field right here? We might as well. Why did I do that? Let's see. Did I really... Should I have done that? I guess I should have. It's fine. These farmers will live amongst their fields. Okay. Switch this. Plonk it back down so he fixes that up. I'll move the uh, the building set up at a later date. Probably sooner than later. Okay. I just wanted to fill in the weird platform here. Okay, some monsters have appeared near the base. Cool. I'm really curious about what that priest's plan is. It doesn't really seem like he has it. He probably just wants to, like, hoodwink the people into making the Dia Tree. Unless it's, like, the last of the Dia... I don't know. Whatever. It'd be interesting if he was, like, weirdly a good, good guy. But I'm finding that doubtful. So is the game released, or is this a streamer sneak peek? Uh, the game's fully released. So, uh, if you go on, it's either the Switch or the PS4, it's both. Uh, you can buy this game. And it's pretty good. Okay. I'm just gonna fill in a couple of these parts. Make the field bigger. Yippee! We did it, dude. We did it! 50 blocks of soft, unsullied soil, turned and tilled and plowed to perfection. Now we've enough space for all five types of vegetables that they used to grow in Furrow Field Farm. Before the deer tree withered and died, they used to grow all sorts of different crops here and hold a festival when they brought in the harvest. Goodness, dude, look, the deer tree. <laughs> the deer tree's grown a little bigger, and it feels a lot more powerful, too. Doing these tasks is really doing the trick, isn't it, dude? Mm hmm. Standing before something so precious, I can barely contain the urge to destroy it utter utterly. Oh, the pastor's acting all funny again. Is he really gonna blow it up this time? Hang on. When you first saw the tree, you said you had to change your heart. What was that all about? Silence. I would. That was a weird noise. I will not stand by and listen to your idle chatter. When you, uh, when you have so much. More, uh, so m much more still to do. Stop wasting time and get back to work. Okay. Let's 
So I'm going to plonk Abbage Seeds here. I'm not entirely sure how I want to lay out these fields. Probably two crops per, maybe? Because there's five crops total, which makes this kind of inconvenient. Okay, first and foremost, I guess let's just turn to the quest. We can give Melroth his axe later. There you go, dude! The stinky sludge is all gone for no uh, gone. Nothing but fine fertile, fertile earth for your fields from now on. Hey! Was that a panic scream or a... Oh, it was an excited scream. Okay. I can't believe it. Look at all this healthy earth. Uh, thank you, Wrigley. I'm just so happy. I've never seen so much lovely soft soil in my life. Uh, ever since the spoil spores appeared, I thought our island was doomed. Uh, even when we found clean soil, everything we planted in it just withered and died. What's wrong with you lot? Crying over a bit of dirt. We've spent so long scraping together a few small patches of arable earth. I know we've got more than we know what to do with. Oh, I'm as happy as uh, right now as I've ever been. I'm happy too. Happy to help, that is. I'd be more than happy to clean up the soil anywhere dude plunks down one of them scarecrows. Wonderful work, dude. It just so happens I have a few seeds squirreled away for just such an auspicious occasion. Now we have a place to plant them. Cabbage seeds. Is this beard just made out of cabbages? Ah, and some wheat. We've got so much more clean soil now, dude. The field even smells better, rich and earthy, not all rotten like before. I thought between you, a builder, and me, the finest farmer in Freerfield, we had the perfect duo. But now with Wrigley in the mix, we've got the perfect trio. Now we can make as many friends as we want, or fields as we want. But that won't help us if we don't have the seeds to plant in them. Brittany told me about the ruins of an old farm somewhere to the northwest on the other side of the mountains. Sounds like just the place to find some more seeds, right? I'll mark it on your map for you. So go and see what you can find. My cabbages. This is a lot of cabbages, by the way. Like, Dango. Okay, what do you want? Yo, dude! Now that that Wrigley's on board, this farm's about to seriously go off. The only thing is, the monsters are getting thirsty for our fresh fruit and veg. And as the only soldier in the Furrow Field in guard right now, that's kind of a problem. Obviously, we can't just stop growing food. Like, duh! I figure what we need is better weapons. And I think that's where you come in. Any ideas? If not, then... Practice makes perfect, I guess. Maybe if you and Malroth go out and rough up a bunch of monsters, it'll give you the inspiration you need. A stone sword would be pretty lit. Make me one of those. And give it to me, of course. A sword isn't much use without a sol soldier to swing it. Haha! <laughs> nice! Thanks so much, dude. This sword is well sick. Anytime you invent a new weapon, you should whack up some and give them to everyone who can swing them. Then everyone who's like, oh no, the monsters are too tough will be like, oh yeah, tough luck monsters. Haha! <laughs> Back in the day, I would have been all hyped for all the things I would smash with this sword, but I don't really believe in the children and their master of destruction anymore. Master of destruction? What's that supposed to be? Does he have a name? How am I supposed to know? High key, I bet the only person who knows his name is Almighty Hargon himself. <laughs> Listen to me, Ar Almighty Hargon? I'm so done with him. Let's start the children of Dude instead. A brilliant band of building buds. Speaking of Hargon, what do you reckon he's like doing you don't think he's gonna come and smite us do you oh that was an easy quest okay uh, let's see There we go, that's the right one. I don't know if grass grows on this stuff. Okay, there we go. I want to just purify some soil so everything isn't just like super gross all the time. I'll move, move them around regularly. But yeah, Children of Dude is a little bad cult. 
for my taste. Okay, that looks good. And let's do... One last one right here. That should be a pretty good field. We'll figure out the rest later. Probably also figure out fences and defenses, but we don't get attacked much, so... It has yet to actually be particularly necessary. Uh, Malroth? There you are, Slowpoke. What's this? Did you make me a new weapon? Haha! <laughs> Thanks! I love it! I'll use this one from now on, but I'll keep hold of the Oaken Club you made me too. After all, it's the first thing you ever made me. Suppose it's got sentimental value. But if you invent any weapons that would make me deal even more damage, build them straight away and hand them over. Okay, so hopefully my people will, uh... Oh, that's interesting. So if we're not in town, hearts just get added automatically. That's nice. Some water should plant some wheat. I'm waiting until they actually finish, uh... hoeing up the ground. Because unfortunately, uh... Unfortunately, those new fields were not tilled yet. And so I'm just gonna do this first. Then we'll work on it. Whee! What's up with this? Hello there, hello there, human. I'm hungry as a church mouse. Seriously, I'm starving, Squeak. I'll have her these wheat seeds, but I get really bloated when I eat wheat. I think I have an intolerance. You think you could help me out if you gave me ten cabbages? That would keep me fed for a while. You can have these wheat seeds in return. Hey, human, those look like nice, juicy cabbages. And you've got ten of them, too. Well, hand them over. Come on, I'm starving. Thank you so much. You saved my life, human. Might be a rat, but I'm true to my word. Here are the seeds I promised you. I knew you'd come through for me, after all. Us rats and you humans used to be on the same side. What? You don't know anything about it? I'll be... Actually, now that you mention it, I don't remember much about it either. My cabbage is... What's the point of this upper area? Yep. Yeah. actually think there's anything up here unless I want to destroy it all I could or we could randomly rebuild the house using pieces from the windmill that would be silly hi there human high-minded highbrow high-class boy like you should have no problem with all these heights right then I know a couple of trips that are uh, tricks that are perfectly uh, perfect for someone like you skills for swiftly scurrying the loftiest spot, Squeak. Any adventurer worth his cheese knows how to climb, after all. You never know what you might find on top of a mysterious hill. If you have a wall handy, you can put blocks against it and make a staircase. If not, you can build a tower by jumping straight up and putting a block under you before you land. Master of... Mastery of these techniques is the key to quick climbing. Give it a shot right now. There's a treasure chest up behind me. It's yours, if, uh, yours for the taking if you can reach it. Well done, human. Who'd have thought a, uh, who'd have imagined a sea? Blah, blah. I can't read right now. A, a seed of life would be hidden away on, up, in those old ruined rafters. Did you have much trouble getting up there? If you're still finding it tricky, just keep practicing. You'll master it eventually. You look like something of an adventurer to me, human. Hopefully, these climbing skills will aid you in your travels. That seed of life should be quite helpful too as the odd effect of making you just a little bit tougher if you eat it. You'll find incredible items like that in all sorts of unexpected places, so don't be afraid to go exploring. You never know what you might stumble upon. They say the rarest and most valuable items are always hidden in the hardest to reach places, so keep a keen eye out- yeah. Keep a keen eye out on your travels. Awkward silence as Wander has already taken the treasure. <laughs> yeah. I kind of wish they'd have different dialogue if I'd already done it. Ugh. What is this fiendish farmyard still doing here? Don't worry, I'll have the whole blasted thing torn apart in no time. Huh? I don't know who you are, 
But if you're not going to help, then I'd rather you leave me in... Leave me alone and let me destroy this place in peace. I beg your pardon, you heard there was an old farm around here and you're hoping you'd find some seeds. Well, I expect this is the farm you're looking for. Don't worry. I'll soon have it completely obliterated. As for the seeds, I have some, but I won't give them to you. There's no nobler goal in life than wrecking ruin, you know? I'm sure the master of destruction himself is watching me right now as I smash this place to smithereens. All I can say is it's a small mercy this place doesn't have one of those accursed scarecrows. Those infernal puppets have some kind of dark power over me. Just one glance at it and I can't resist tilling the soil around it. Confound my farmer's blood. Whatever you do, stranger, don't use that wooden workbench to build a scarecrow and then place it in the middle of this field. Don't even think about it. How many can I make? Oh, I need more dry grass. Look into your nightmare's eyes. Now have more. Till these fields. Oh no! Did you really put a scarecrow in the middle of the field? Right after I specifically told you not to. What? What's happening to me? Oh boy. Uh... Just as I feared, one glance at the Scarecrow, and I can't stop myself from tilling the earth around it. Oh, Master of Destruction, hear my prayer. I have sullied my hands with the stain of creation. I beg your forgiveness. It is only by your destructive grace that the field was not enclosed by wooden fencing. Were it so fenced in, I fear that I... I... You didn't happen to spot the pieces of wooden fencing stuck in the ground behind this field, did you? Whatever you do, don't go and fetch that wooden fencing over there and fill the gaps in the fence... On this field, do you hear me? No fences. I feel like this guy is going to have a conniption fit by the end of this. I mean, he already is kind of just having a fit, but that's just because he's a dumbass. But like, by the end of this, he's gonna be like farming at the mouth or something. That's gonna be an issue. Okay. Boop. Boop. Nope. Boop. We. This whole fence business is not the most... It's not the best deterrent, honestly. And now we've learned how to make it ourselves. Wooden gate. Wooden fencing. You put a fence around the field, didn't you? Why would you do that? No, it's happening again! Why? Why? Uh, uh, I couldn't help myself. I plowed every inch of earth inside that accursed fence. You sly devil, I expect you've worked out how to build wooden fencing and wooden gates yourself. Self, too. With gates and fencing, you can make fields of almost any shape or size. They're dangerous weapons indeed. Oh, Master of Destruction, hear my prayer. Once again, I have sopped my brow with the sweat of con constructive labor. I beg your forgiveness. What's that? If I want to till some more f fields, why don't I go and help out your farm? What are you trying to imply? I'll have you know I'm a devoted disciple of the children of Hargon. <laughs> Haha, <laughs> this guy's hilarious. Let's take him back to the farm and turn him into a builder. 
All right, weirdo, if you got any seats, hand them over. And no funny business. We can do this the easy way or the fun way. All right, all right, here you go. Here's a, They're all yours. Brilliant. Looks like we got enough seats to make coming all this way out here worthwhile. Now let's get Tommy Tills a lot back to the farm. The name's Clayton. I'll go with you. I'll help you on your farm. I'll do anything you want. Just please don't kill me. So one scarecrow can be used on one farm if you fence it in. Potentially. Oh, time to break everything. Praise Hargon! Yeah, so it looks like, uh... Ah! The Oh, Draki showed up. Praise the master of destruction, lord of all that is broken and just, well, I don't know, in bits. Everywhere I'm taking these fences back with me. Yeah, you might be able to make an extra big uh, field as long as you have uh, fence posts. Okay. Yeah, let's just, let's just bonk our way through everything. This is just, uh, this game is Slave Labor Simulator. Yeah, kinda. Kinda, yeah, kinda nah. Wait, why are they all panicking? Come back here and die like a monster. We thank you for your, thank you for your wood, Draki. Okay, anything else around here? No. I swear there's an easier way to get over over this mountain. Probably over this direction. Actually, alternatively, what am I doing? We can just warp back. That's so much easier. Have you guys... Man, you guys suck at this whole, like, plowing everything thing. That said, there's a lot of happiness going around, so I'll give it a pass. Now that Melroth has the axe, are you gonna go fight the blue orc? Now nah, I'm gonna leave that for later. I'm not in a I'm not in a huge rush to go fight him, especially because he's probably only just gonna give me uh, more cabbage or wheat seeds. Maybe he might not. He might actually give something useful. I'm unsure. We haven't learned any more, uh... Any more recipes. You know what we're gonna do? Uh, let's see. Let's make some more torches. Let's make uh, a couple more beds. Oh, we need one more than that. I forgot I left the last one elsewhere. Uh, let's see. Bunch of stacks of firewood. Mostly don't need them, but that's okay. I figure we might as well make some extra uh, farming tools. I'm not sure if putting these characters in separate beds and bedrooms really makes much of a difference, but I might as well do it anyway. There was no... There's no room score anymore. Yeah, view info. Just size. Hmm. Tiny farmer's bedroom. Interesting. Small basic bedroom. Small farmer's bedroom. 
Huh. Yeah, so you can make way bigger rooms in this one, potentially. Okay, well, we should probably go talk to this guy. Unbelievable. Look at this farm, these buildings, these fields, this tree. Truly, such sinners are beyond redemption. Such shameless construction, such brazen, brazen building. This whole town stinks of creation. Your heretics, the lot of you, heretics and builders all. Oh, Rev Reverend, this man is a builder, a foul, irrede eh, irredeemable sinner. Do something, destroy him. Mm -hmm. You could not have arrived at a better time, my disciple. You must work the fields here. You must till the soil and water the crops with neither rest nor respite. Mm -hmm. No, not you too, Reverend. Why, Reverend? Why? <laughs> very well. Oh, you know, very, very well. I'll join you in your den of iniquity. Oh, I can't disobey the pastor's orders. Leighton joins dude's team. What a loon. Great work, dude. You didn't just find new seeds, you found a new friend, too. Clayton's just like me, a descendant of one of Furrowfield's finest, Furrowfield's finest farming families. That must be why he can't help but plow any field he sees. I've been thinking, dude. We've been doing as the pastor said. Now we got a nice big field, and the deer tree's growing bigger, too. But surely all those three tasks he gave us can't be all there is to it, can they? It seems just too easy. Suppose we'll just have to wait and see. In the meantime, let's build more scarecrows, till more fields, and grow more crops. You could even try making fields into interesting shapes and sizes by fencing them off with wooden fencing and wooden gates. Try it out and see how it goes. 